Hello everyone, welcome. In today's video we will talk about how to properly breastfeed our baby. We will talk about some breastfeeding positions, how to properly latch our baby, as well as some burping positions. In our previous video, we discussed how to bathe the newborn with the umbilical cord attached, as well as when the umbilical cord has fallen off. So if you haven't seen that video already, you can go ahead and check that one out. In our next video, we will discuss the benefits of breastfeeding versus the benefits of formula feeding. We'll be posting that one shortly so you can look out for it. I hope you find these ideas useful and helpful, so please enjoy. Breast milk contains lots of nutrients and antibodies that help boost your baby's immune system and provide nourishment for growth and development. Breastfeeding also allows you to bond with your baby during mealtime. Breastfeeding may be different for everyone. Some moms may find it quite easy. Others may find it a bit challenging or even frustrating while others may have a different experience with each child. Just remember to relax, be comfortable and ensure that the baby is clean, dry and in a comfortable position. The baby can feel if you are anxious and tense and they will be too. So take a deep breath and relax. The more you both practice, the better you will both be at it. For effective breastfeeding, the baby needs to latch on or be properly attached to your breast. This means the baby's mouth must be wide open, taking in the nipple and most if not all of the areola. His or her nose, lips and chin must be close to your breast.
babies usually feed very often for the first few weeks, maybe every hour for the first few days. Feed as often as your baby wants and for how long he or she wants. Feeds will get fewer but longer each time. You may need to feed at least 8 to 12 times or more in a 24 hour period for the first few weeks. However, every baby is different and some may feed more or less than others. There is no exact feeding schedule to follow. Instead, follow your baby's cues and clues. When your breasts become engorged, the blood vessels in your breast are swollen and your breasts are overfilled with milk. This can cause discomfort or pain. This may happen if your baby isn't nursing enough or effectively, or your breasts are producing more milk than the baby can consume.
bronchitis is when a milk duct gets clogged and infected. You may have a fever, chills, swollen, painful breasts, breasts are hot to the touch, hard lump in the breast, or redness on your breast. If you are experiencing these symptoms, contact your healthcare provider. You may need antibiotics to relieve these symptoms. Breastfeeding is a natural process, however, it takes time, patience and practice. It may be difficult or uncomfortable sometimes, but there is no need to be embarrassed. Don't hesitate to ask for some help. Overcoming the challenges presented with your newborn can be a very rewarding experience. You will look forward to feeding time when you and baby can bond. Remember, relax and be comfortable. Baby needs to be comfortable too, with a clean and dry diaper. Try different breastfeeding positions until you find one that suits you and your baby. Ensure baby latches on properly. Drink plenty water and consume a nutritious diet. Keep the faith. Practice makes perfect. Relax and enjoy. <laughs>